but first, tomorrow marks the year since the coronation of King Charles III. And I still can't decide if it's gone like a flash or that it has been so eventful in the interim that the coronation feels like an eternity ago. To mark the occasion, the King and Queen have received the official coronation role, an official recording of the coronation proceedings traditionally presented to monarchs and their consorts. Calligrapher Stephanie Gill worked 56 consecutive days writing the role. It's the first to use paper and the 57 pages containing 11,600 words are all stitched together. Now, the man himself summed it all up perfectly, saying to the team behind the official record, you deserve a very stiff drink. And I think that quip could be applied more broadly to describe the last 12 months. The stress and complexity of the coronation itself, the dramas with the American side of the family, the health concerns for King Charles and Princess Catherine and the stretched royal family resources. More on this shortly with my panel. And just shy of the King's one-year anniversary, he returned to public duties and hopefully, despite recent dramas, the royal family is headed back to some semblance of normalcy. It has been a lot. And for those of us who are royal observers, we have seen a vulnerability of the royal family in a way not really seen before. This week, Hannah Furness, the royal editor of The Telegraph in the UK, summed it up perfectly with the headline, from monarch to mortal, the year that changed our relationship to the king. And I think that's right. The king changed due to a very serious experience and that changed our relationship with him along the way.